Hello YouTube. This is my newest and latest creation. I just finished it today. And um, it will be a clock. Clock. It uses 14 segment LED displays and those are tiny let me tell you and they just have a bubble on them as a lens and uh, I call it retro clock so let me first tell you a little bit about the PCB this is the PCB for it. I had made these uh, with Oshpark because uh, as you know when you create a PCB you always have some afterthoughts and some ideas or might something might not work right from the beginning and I didn't want to order too many and wait too long and uh, Oshpark is pretty fast compared to China so I have three of them made and um, this is the front where the displays goes it has a usb type c onboard usb chip and the rtc chip and on the back you have the navigation switch the type c connector is on the back on off switches on the top and this is the backup battery for the rtc module and here you can see my name again and what I like with Oshpark is uh, that is it is with Enic Gold Immersion and the speaker goes over here. And uh, for now I will have three. One of them I'm sure Adam. Adam this is shut out for you. If you want it let me know. It's gonna go fast and one of them is going to go to rob who helped me tremendously with the with coding i'm more of a hardware guy and as you can see it has brass standoffs lipo battery and the navigation switch and of course the beauty with the built-in usb chip that's the charging indicator once it's full it goes out Oh, it also has four LEDs those will be used for the visual alarm indicator and with the speaker you will have sound as well and um, let me just show you I have the codes open I just click upload and the new code will upload to the PCB I do not have to use any USB adapter, external USB adapter anymore. And this is it. That's the clock. My current time. It shows the time. The clock is not finished yet. This is just uh, to start out with. The code will be much, much different. And um, this one shows time, temperature and the uh, date. You can see it shows 2000 to 21 is not shown. I will edit that of course to show the 21. Um, and uh, it will have alarm features, it will have temperature measurement, it will have weekday and it will have many many other things. Uh, Adam, um, you will get it like this if you order it now. And as soon as we have the new code ready I can send it to you and you can just plug it in to your computer and upload the code without the problem. Uh, I will have the hex file and you just need a small problem, uh, not problem, a small program to upload the hex file. You don't have to edit anything, just click upload and you will have the updated code. Or you can wait, but I don't know. Uh, if it will last I will of course make more but I will have to order the new PCBs and that's gonna 
take a while to arrive. I will also have to order more displays, more acrylic and uh, more batteries. Batteries I have a few. But anyway, of course it does work without the cable. And so this is my new retro clock, I call it. I know it's not very... Um, it's just a standard name, but uh, I'm not gonna come up with any fancy names. Uh, I mean, a clock is a clock, and uh, not the name matters, but the quality and the way it looks and the features will matter. So this is it. This is my new retro clock. I will put it up on Tindy as soon as I have more uh, in stock so I can make more right now it's just three of them one is obviously for me I will never ever sell mine <laughs> I just I'm, I'm, I finished it today and I haven't dropped it yet I, I keep looking at it I keep picking it up it has a nice hefty weight to it um, it's not flimsy it's very sturdy i mean you can drop this thing obviously the acrylic would get scratched if it comes to a hard surface but uh, you can replace everything on it even the displays if they ever fail which i do not think so and um, because i'm using these um I don't know exactly how they call, but they're uh, pin headers, but not the standard plastic ones. I mean, this is plastic too, but not not the regular tall ones like I use over here, for example. These are tall, as you see, and um, and these are also gold plated. And I'm using these pin headers on the PCB like so and um, so if anything goes wrong you can replace it you can of course replace the backup battery which is a CR1220 if you notice that the uh, time is not uh, being saved anymore you can change that out and uh, this is it this is my new I should call it Marvel clock because by the time the code is done it will do everything except uh, bring your bread to the table <laughs> so to speak I know I was, I'm just mumbling here as you know I have no script I just say what comes to my mind and sometimes it's nonsense um, let me show you how you, my hands are not that big so this is 38 millimeters in size and um, how deep it might get a little slimmer it's about 30 millimeters deep um, I first thought I would maybe make it as a wrist watch but uh, I don't this is a desktop clock you put it on your table you can keep it plugged in or plug it in you can put it on your nightstand this will go to my nightstand today tonight and uh, oh what I was gonna say those digits are tiny but even if you put it I mean, and I have bad eyesight near and far. Even if I put it over here, I can perfectly read the digits with glasses and without reading glasses. These are my reading glasses that I use. So don't let the small digits fool you. And don't think that you will need glasses to read them because you can perfectly read them and you can see these are near glasses and um, 
I'm not sure how long the battery will last. I haven't measured it yet. Uh, but I do know that the LED uh, displays do use quite some little bit of current. So, but instead of not having a battery and just having it plugged in, this way you can take it with you or whatever. And it will have nice features, as I said. It will have a regular alarm. It will most likely will have a temperature alarm as well. It will show the weekday and maybe weekday and month. Although month, uh, you are pretty sure you will know. But weekday for me, every day is like a Monday because I work twenty four seven. And um, anyway, if you're interested, if you like it, please leave a comment and um, i will update the videos as soon as i have more features to show thanks for watching and take care everybody